Welcome back to Dickinson's Real Deal from Maidenhead. Hi, I'm Ian. Ian, hello. Jennifer's brought in spoons fit for a king or even a duchess. A pair of silver anointing spoons in their original box. I just love them. And I'm looking at about £150. I'm really looking forward to sitting down with Ian and, and chatting him up. Good luck with that. A pair of silver gilt anointing spoons. Yes. And do, do they belong to you? Uh, they belong to me now. They were my grandparents and now they came down to me. You've um, never used them? Oh, no, no. Nobody in your family wants them? No. Well, I don't think they actually know much about them, really. They've just been, you know, in a cupboard and... But the family don't know you even have them? They don't know I'm here today, that's for sure. <laughs> you're selling the... it, it was purely on you're impulse because I live so near here. So you're selling the family uh, silver the family is being sold? It's being sold. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes, I might be in trouble, but there you go. They're called anointing spoon because they use a special services in the church, they were used yes. for coronations, they were used for baptisms yes, yes. and things of that nature. Yes. So um, this by appointment to the king, which king was that? That would be Edward, oh, just right. after the reign of Queen Victoria, yes. who died in 1901. Yes. And these are 1902 right. and they're London. I think silver gilt is such a lovely thing, you know, yes. it looks like gold, but as you know, it's a layer of gold, gold on top of silver, yes. a wash of gold over silver. They look so lovely. They look rich. They do. You know? I, we thought they were gold, actually. You thought they were gold? We did think they were gold. <laughs> I <laughs> no, wish they were gold. Fortune <laughs> if they were real gold. Because they're quite heavy, aren't they? They're lovely quality. Yes. They really are lovely quality. And um, in money down, wow. Mm. Well, OK. <laughs> Let's see the colour of the money, Let's see then. the colour of the money. <laughs> yes, I think that might be enough. <laughs> 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. Now that's what I would like to buy them for, 250, because I like them. I but think, I like your money, Ian. Yeah, I bet you like my money. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they're worth 250 to be. Okay. You know, I'm not interested what the independent value is in auction and say, I buy what I like, you know, and I like them. And here comes David. Are you OK? <laughs> well, I'm pleased that Ian has put £250 down because they are worth every shilling of that. Now, my independent value was are looking at something like 150 to 250 The question is, what are these spoons? The original purpose may well have been anointing spoons. Yeah. You call them coronation spoons to anointing kings and queens. Right, okay. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> I think I know where we're going with this one. <laughs> OK, so that's about their money. They are beautiful. Where are you going to find something as wonderful as that for £250? Nowhere in the world. And so that's why, in my opinion, they're still cheap. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> Put a bit more on. I'm paying no more. You know, that is the sure? price. I'm sorry. You know, I wasn't interested in bartering. I like them. I want them. I've given you the right money for them. Now you have to make your decision. We have a deal. Thank you so much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Goodness, Jennifer, you made a hundred pounds more than you were hoping for. I'm thrilled to be going home with two hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> And Ian thinks he's on to a winner too. I am thrilled to be soon. 